Within these walls of ice, almost 7% of the world's fresh water. But the vast ice sheet that covers most of Greenland is shrinking by around 130,000 cubic kilometers a year. This is where you see it happening, the ice fjords of Alulisat off Greenland's west coast. UNESCO protected, it's one of the most spectacular places on Earth. Evidence of the retreating glaciers all around us here in what's known as Greenland's Iceberg Alley. Not only are there icebergs of all varying sizes, but also huge amount of melted ice which is being released into the sea. Scientists blame an influx of warm water into the Arctic for what's happening. The breaking off of icebergs is nothing new. The one that sunk the Titanic probably came from this fjord. It's the frequency and the size of the new ice that's something recent. Greenland ice sheet right now it's losing approximately 300 gigatons of uh, ice every year. But if this trend continues, then uh, we're looking at projections of uh, maybe a meter uh, increase of sea level rise. The changing landscape isn't just impacting on sea levels, it's challenging the Inuit way of life. I miss the way things were. We used to be able to travel for six, seven days into the ice fields and catch seal. But now we have to travel all the way out, a different route, with snow up to our knees. It's too difficult for the dogs. The melting of the ice could take Greenland back to a greener time and warmer climates that allowed the Vikings to colonize the island in the early Middle Ages. Under the ice, oil and gas reserves and a mineral wealth that could make this a very rich country. But the consequences for low-lying coastal communities around the world would be disastrous. Experts used to talk about this happening in thousands of years. Now the timescale is centuries. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Western Greenland.